right so hello and welcome and today I'm gonna show you how to how to unlock the hidden BIOS options in your Acer Aspire 5742G uh, so what what is the issue basically the issue is that Acer basically this the laptop is capable of hardware supported virtualization so this is called is it an intel technology called what is it called vt support so if i run the intel processor id utility accept i'll give you the link to this uh, this utility you can check if your acer but if you have a 5742G, it will support this. So. so if I go to CPU technologies, you can see virtualization technology. So VT is virtualization technology. Okay. You can see there's a yes there. So that supports. But the problem is Acer in their infinite wisdom have crippled their BIOS to such that you, there's no option to enable it in the BIOS. So the CPU supports it, but the BIOS has not turned it on and there's no way to turn it on so what we need to do is install a modified BIOS which has the option to turn VT on so this is very important if you want to do like virtualization uh, so you're running VMware with the uh, uh, host and a guest operating system or you're doing Android development and you want to run the Android emulator all these use the this VT technology to give you greater performance so right, that's what we want to do. So what we need to do is find a modified BIOS and we found one here in this Chinese website. So I've actually managed to find two versions. The, uh, the latest version of the Acer BIOS is 1.3 which, which is the one the Chinese have managed to modify. So uh, I can't tell much of what's going on on this website but they, they have some pictures here. So you can see they are providing version 1.3 here the new BIOS so and you can see they have some screenshots of the BIOS setup screen after it's been modified you can see you have VT support if you go to your BIOS right now you won't find this menu right now because this VT support because it's hidden by default so these guys have managed to unlock it and they've repackaged this BIOS again and you can install it and in turn unlock the the option on your computer so of course there's always a risk when you're installing these kind of things so you know full disclaimer you're on your own you have to trust the Chinese here so this is the download link uh, right here I'll post this in the uh, comment section uh, in the description section of the YouTube video so if you go to this Baidu website you can download it uh, you can follow some steps use Google uh, use Chrome, Google Auto Translate, it will help you out. Download that. After you download it, uh, you get you get this file here, WinFlash. So let me just go to where that is. Right, so I've saved it here. Uh, this is a raw archive, so just extract that. If you don't have any tool to extract it, download 7-zip, pretty good. Extract to WinFlash. Wait for that to extract. And what that has is a is a uh, BIOS flasher basically. So if you run this, what it will do is it will flash the this BIOS to your computer. So the recommended thing to do here is to close as many programs as you can. You save that. Uh, close my browser oh, I don't want to close everything okay close that so you can see there 1.3 is the latest version from Acer which is what you want uh, close as much as possible yeah because really you don't want anything interfering with your BIOS flashing basically because things go wrong they can go really wrong here yeah. it's the one time you wanna follow 
I know nobody likes to follow those instructions. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna just—I uh, don't think this is strictly necessary, but I'm gonna turn off even my antivirus, here, which is not the brighter thing to do since I'm installing strange stuff from the internet. Okay, I'm gonna leave that on. Uh, what else can I close here? Right, so that's about it. I'm gonna run. Hide this time. I'm gonna run. So right-click that. I'm gonna run as admin just in case that's needed. I don't think that's needed, but. There you go. And as admin, let this initialize. You get a warning here. You're about to update firmware. Make sure. So make sure you have power. Make sure you're fully charged on your laptop. Do not launch other applications. Do not turn off your computer. Do not close the lid. You know. Basically, don't be stupid. Remove all USB stuff. I would remove all USB stuff from my. I just remove the keyboard and mouse there. Okay, so once you're done that, uh, press on So I have restarted. Everything seems to be working fine, which is great. If I use Pecky here. To look at my motherboard, I can see that I'm now on the latest version of the BIOS, version 1.3. And uh, so now I'm gonna go in into the BIOS and we're going to check if that VT option is actually there. So I'm just trying to see if anything is not working. I mean, everything looks like it's working. So I think the Chinese came through here, did their thing. Alright, so let's give this another try. I mistimed the... You need to press the F2 key when, right when your computer is booting up to enter the, the BIOS setup screen. So I got my finger on, on the trigger. This is exciting. Exciting stuff. Tapping F to see if we go to power. Got the advanced CPU control. You see VT support is enabled. Now this is a new menu. Before the flashing the modified BIOS, you would not have this option at all. So that's fantastic. That's all I needed. Uh, I know some of you are looking for other options, but I'm not really familiar with any of these other ones. Let's see what do you have security. I think this this was here before. I think this is new. Uh, I'm not sure. A break event. Hmm. I think this is also new. Yeah, so th these are the basically the options that the Ch Chinese modified BIOS has unlocked. So, if any of these make sense to you, you go ahead and flash the new BIOS. Right, so all I wanted was virtualization technology, and you can see it's enabled there, so I'm happy with that. Gonna just gonna exit with escape here. I didn't make any changes, so yes, and that's about it. Thank you. Bye.